In this video, I am going to discuss about global positioning system. Well, this is a satellite-based navigation system that is used to locate positions anywhere on the Earth. So, GPS gives us the position. Let me just mark here. So, GPS gives the position in the form of a latitude, longitude and also altitude. GPS also gives the altitude. Well, it is not only position but the speed of the receiver and also the accurate time. GPS also provide position, speed and time. Well, now let us discuss the components of a GPS, Global Positioning System. It contains the space segment which is uh, con which consists of the satellites and the ground segment or control segment which controls the satellite and the receiver. Now let us discuss about a space segment. So originally it was planned to have 24 satellites orbiting in MEO which means a medium earth orbits at an altitude of about 20,200 km. Well, the United States is committed to maintaining the availability of at least 24 operational satellites 95% of the time. So to ensure the US Air Force has been flying about 31 operational satellites past few years and the number of satellites keep changing. Well, the satellite circles the Earth twice a day. So 5 and 8 satellites at any time from any point on the Earth can be seen. These satellites are fitted with atomic clocks and these atomic clocks give a very very accurate time. The transmitting frequency for these satellites are L1 and L2. L1 is 1575 megahertz and L2 is 1227.6 megahertz. Now these signals are transmitted on a low power. Well, this is a pretty important to note that these signals are transmitted on low power that is 50 watts and they can travel by line of sight. So that means that simply mean that they can pass through ionosphere, cloud, even plastic material. However, however they can not cannot pass through solid materials such as mountains or buildings and that tells that the GPS has certain limitations. Well, now let's talk about control segments. So there are five short base stations including uh, the control station and they have the purpose of these control station to monitor the performance and track the satellite. There are various control segments. Okay, now let's discuss how the GPS works. Well, the GPS, there is a satellite and that satellite gives the signal. That's the satellite signal and the time when it was generated is recorded. The receiver generates its own signal and compare with satellite signal. Well, the basis of the GPS is the constellation of satellites that are continuously orbiting the Earth and these satellites are equipped with, equipped with atomic clocks which transmits the radio signal. So, the same time the receiver on the Earth also generates a sound signal and the signal comparison is done. Now, a time difference is obtained and this tells the time taken for satellite signal to travel to the receiver. This time difference gives the data for time taken for the satellite signal to travel the receiver. And now we use a very very simple and basic equation which is speed uh, is equal to distance divided by time. So that gives me the distance. Distance is equal to speed and time. All I need to do calculate the time. 
speed I know it very well the speed of satellite signal is going to be 3 into 10 raised to the power 8 meter per second or 300 million meters per second so we can make out that here the time measurement is going to be very very critical now it is a simple principle suppose this is the satellite suppose this is the satellite here and we can measure the range so this is a position circle this green color is a position circle and this range is called pseudo range well I'm going to uh, discuss why it is called pseudo range so let's talk about time measurement and this is pretty critical which I just discussed so there can be a lack of a synchronization of satellite and the receiver clock the satellite receivers are fitted with atomic clock to maintain the precise time but they are too expensive for public use or normal receiver so on for public use we have these quartz clock quartz clock and these are less expensive but they do not provide same accuracy so this results in non synchronization of the clocks which simply mean there is a result in the error so errors are the the results are having error and another important aspect is that there could be the atmospheric delay which means that when the signal travel through the ionosphere and troposphere the signal may not reach as the time as per the calculation so there could be a, some a delay in that well so range measured is therefore called a pseudo range and it contains some error that's why it is called pseudo range so at least uh, there are three ranges required for a position circle in order to obtain a position in latitude and a longitude similarly at least four ranges are required to make a 3d fix three-dimensional fix which simply mean in the form of latitude longitude and altitude well angle of cut between the position line determines the geometry of a satellites and this is called GDOP which simply mean geometric dilution of precision and high GDOP means the less accuracy of a GPS position and vice versa that means if there is a low GDOP value the position is accurate well now let's can we can define as PDOP which is position dilution of precision and that is required for 3d fixes there is HDOP that is horizontal dilution of precision and that needs a 2d fixes and there is a VDOP vertical dilution of precision that determines the accuracy of height and there has to be a TDOP time dilution of precision which is related with the accuracy of a time so HDOP means horizontal dilution of precision and receiver is designed to calculate calculate HDOP and display to user well the one means very good and 10 means not good so use appropriate maximum HDOP value at which GPS receiver gives an alarm and change to dead reckoning mode that is DR mode so we need four satellites to make a 3D fix and three satellites to make a 2D fix well we also need some additional satellites to overcome the clock difference and provide a check for error in each case okay so there is something called carrier carrier phase measurement I repeat carrier phase measurement and this is quite similar to pseudo ranging and it uses only n1 frequency but there is another one also when we use both l1 and l2 and that is the use for geodetic surveys and satellite compass 
well the code transmitted by each satellite are called as p code this is p code or c code the p code means precision code and they are used by us military and c code means course acquisition code they contain some error and they are for civilian purpose the carrier frequencies are l1 and l2 well the l1 is 1575.42 and this is used with the both the codes that means p and c code both the codes use these uh, l1 frequencies well the l2 uh, which is 1227.60 uses only p code so the us military use this frequency l2 frequency so there are various errors of gps one uh, they can be divided into two categories so one is the deliberate errors and other could be the natural errors well this deliberate errors one of the type is selective availability and they are introduced by US Department of Defense to safeguard their national interest the other types of error are atmospheric multipath receiver geometry and availability of satellite 